Hello everyone. Today in this module we are going to talk about succession. This module we have divided into two parts, succession 1 and the other module that is mechanism of succession where we will be talking about how the succession and why the succession takes place. Succession is actually a gradual replacement of one type of ecological community by another in the same area involving a series of orderly changes especially in the dominant vegetation species. Succession is generally initiated by a significant disturbance in that particular area. So, in this module we will be talking about terms of succession and many other terms and many other fundamentals related to succession. The learning objectives of this module are understanding succession, terms used in ecological succession that is the pioneer succession and climax succession, steps of succession, major types or patterns of succession that will include the primary succession and secondary succession, autogenic succession and allogenic succession, progressive succession and retrogressive succession and directional succession and cyclic succession. Introduction to succession. Ecological succession or ecosystem development involves the changes in the structure and function of community over time. Succession may also be described as the gradual change which occurs in vegetation of a single area of the earth's surface on which one population succeeds the other over a period of time. It can also be defined as a continuous, unidirectional and sequential change in the species composition of the natural community. Ecological succession is a normal natural process. Long term changes of millions of years which include climate change or evolutionary change are usually not included in the definition of succession. Changes occurs in a time span of 1 to 500 years are generally considered as changes due to succession. Ecological succession result in a change in the relative abundance of dominant species or a complete change in species composition from unstable communities to more stable, mature and relatively self-maintaining communities over a period of time. Thus, the ecological succession may be described on the basis of following three important events. First, it is an orderly process of the development of community involving changes in species composition and various processes of community with time. It is reasonably directional and hence predictable. Second, course of succession is determined by the changes in the physical environment of the community that is community modified changes in physical environment and third changes terminate in a stable community which perpetuate itself till the climate remains the same. The terms used in ecological succession. The first one is bare area, habitat without any vegetation from where succession starts is known as a bare area, wholly independent of the structural nutritional aspects of their soil, bare areas may be classified into following three categories according to their characteristic water relations. The first one is wet or hydric, for example pond bottom, second is dry or xeric, for example rock surface exposed to the sun. And the third is intermediate or mesic. Then talking about the pioneer community, succession starts with a community by establishing first in any bare area, climax community. Succession ends with a community in which the species perpetuate themselves through reproduction till the climate remains the same. Successional or serial community, the relatively Transitory communities or developmental stages which develop during the course of succession and exhibit some directional cumulative non-random change in a period of 1 to 500 years until a climax community is achieved. Seri, 
whole sequence of communities that replace one another in a given area that is the entire progression of serial stages from the first one to occupy bare area to the climax community. The series that begin on wet, dry or intermediate bare areas are known as hydrocery or hydrarch, zerocery or zerarch and mesocery or mesarch respectively. This slide shows the schematic representation of process of succession. We can see that from bare area, the community changes into pioneer serial stage, then the serial stage, then the subclimax stage, and finally the climax stage. Disturbance at any stage can set back succession and initiate secondary succession. Steps in succession. Clemens in 1916 divided whole succession process in three phase and six steps. Phase 1 is initiation phase. This involves three following steps. First one is nudation, that is the exposure of new substrate. Step 2 is migration, arrival of disseminates, that is the seeds, spores or vegetative propagates. Step 3 is Excess refers to germination, establishment, growth and reproduction of propagules. Phase 2 is that of continuation or natural selection. It involves the following two steps. Step 4 that is competition. It may result in species replacement. And step 5 is reaction. It involves a habitat change through the species competition and reaction occurs simultaneously. Phase 3 is termination. It involves only one step that is step number 6 stabilization it refers to the stabilization of climax community that is homeostasis. From migration to reaction four steps are mechanically repeated several times in a cyclic fashion. Each turn of the cycle gives a new serial community. Slide, this slide shows the flow chart showing steps in succession. It starts from nudation, migration, assessors, competition, reaction and finally the stabilization. We can see that from my reaction to migration it can repeat in different serial stages or communities and forms a new serial community major types of succession or major successional patterns. The first is the primary succession and secondary succession. Talking about the primary succession, it refers to the establishment of vegetation on area not previously vegetated. It may be hydrarch primary succession if the pioneer community becomes established on a wet surface that is like a pond or a lake or zerarch primary succession if the primary community becomes established on a dry substrate, for example, sand dunes, rocks, etc. This slide shows a diagrammatic representation of an example of primary succession. We can see the pioneer, the exposed rocks, which are the bare areas, the pioneer community, then the cereal community, and finally, the forest in the form of climax community are seen in this slide. Secondary succession. It is the establishment of vegetation in an area that has been previously vegetated but the pre-existing vegetation having been destroyed by some disturbances caused either by human activities for example lodging or cultivation etc or natural catastrophe for example flood, landslides, hurricane etc. The barren surface is not as severe as the surface in primary succession. Since the soil remains there, may not be fertile, many plant propagules, for example seeds, rhizomes, etc. may remain in the soil. Secondary succession is generally faster than the primary succession. Secondary succession on abundant cropland is known as old field succession. In this slide we will see the diagrammatic representation of an example of secondary succession. We can see that a uh, natural catastrophe that is uh, fire had been taken place 
and in course of time there is pioneer community which already had propagules of annual plants or perennials or grasses and it gradually the community uh, after several communities have changed into the mature forest which becomes the climax community. Autogenic succession, auto that means self and genic that means generated. When course of succession is largely driven or determined by internal core actions, then such type of succession is known as autogenic su succession. That is the change in both the environment and the community is brought about by the activities of organisms themselves. Change in environment for example is brought about by plant shade or litter themselves. Input to soil which in turn will result into change in structure and properties of soil leading to change in species composition with time. The next term is allogenic succession. Allogenic succession which means externally generated. When course of succession is controlled by some external driving forces, example the forces beyond the control of indigenous organisms or the changes in environment are caused by some external factor unaffected by the organism, for example storm, fire, etc. Such type of succession is known as allogenic succession. Progressive succession refers to the succession which leads to community with more complexity and biomass and to habitats that are progressively more and more mesic or moist. The term retrogressive succession leads in the opposite direction that is loss of species and decrease in structural com complexity as a result of site destruction towards either a more hydric or wet or more xeric or dry habitat. Retrogressive successions may either be allogenic that is introduction of cattle or VD annuals or autogenic that is it is uh, decreased the, uh, by the action of organisms themselves. This slide shows the schematic representation of an example of progressive and retrogressive succession on Alaskan flood plains. Succession in Alaskan flood plain may at first be progressive leading from a sedge meadow to a white spruce forest with low shrubs of cranberry and blueberry. The dense shade however encourages the growth of a dense moss carpet and the encroachment of a shallow layer of frozen soil and water. As the soil moisture rises, sphagnum moss invades, white spruce is replaced by black spruce and ultimately retrogressive to a sedge meadow results. Directional succession. Directional succession is characterized by an accumulation of changes that lead to community wide changes. Cyclic succession. It is characterized by non-directional succession that is cyclic in nature and generally involves a type of local changes. This slide shows the schematic representation of an example of cyclic succession in a desert scrub in Texas in USA. To summarize this module, we can say that succession studies are important parameters in ecology to understand the development of a particular community, an ecosystem and even a biome. Uh, it is important to understand what at what level the community is they present at a particular time and how we are able to develop it and we are able to see the future through the different mechanisms of succession. Thank you.